Most of the time, dementia affects people who are 65 years old and older, but young onset dementia can happen to those in their 30s, 40s, and even their 50s. And now a new study identifies factors that can up your risk for developing the disease. TV5's Colette Boyd has the details. Young onset dementia, also called early onset dementia, affects more than 300,000 Americans and it strikes during the prime of their lives. Typically people develop symptoms in their 30s, 40s and 50s um, as opposed to developing symptoms in their 70s and 80s. In a study published in JAMA Neurology, researchers identified risk factors that are linked to young onset dementia. Heart disease, a previous stroke, or an alcohol use disorder were strong predictors of young onset dementia. Carrying specific gene mutations was also a major risk factor. It's incredibly tragic to see these families pass this disease on from generation to generation. Being socially isolated was another key risk factor for dementia. So was not getting enough vitamin D. And for men, having diabetes was strongly associated with developing the disease. Some other possible culprits were having a less formal education, a lower socioeconomic status, depression, poor hand grip strength, and hearing impairment. Doctors hope identifying these warning signs earlier may allow them to treat the disease before it has gone too far. We think it would be a lot easier to stop the disease from progressing rather than trying to catch up and prevent all of the sort of downstream effects that happen. Helping you identify risk factors for young onset dementia, I'm Colette Boyd reporting. Two other possible risk factors that mentioned uh, mentioned in that study, having a high C-reactive protein marker, a sign of inflammation, and having an abnormal drop in blood pressure when you stand up. Yeah, if you have questions, call the free Alzheimer's helpline. It's 1-800-272-3900.